Hey everybody, it's Captain Drew Cavanaugh here with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters located in East Central Florida. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to replace your trim tilt switch assembly that is on the engine itself, on the cowling, below the cowling, there's a little button that pushes up and down if you have trim tilt, uh, electric trim tilt, power trim tilt. Um, mine went out, the up wasn't going up. So um, I figured out that it was a uh, you know it wasn't on the throttle. Um, just it was easy to figure out. It was on the cowling. I ordered a new one from Yamaha, picked it up, and it takes me more not more than five ten minutes to do it from start to finish. By the time you get the tools and all that kind of stuff, it's real easy to do. And uh, we're going to show you how to do that. So let's get to it. Okay, here's the part number. If you're wanting to just use this as a lookup number, um, I'm pretty sure this this trim tilt uh, switch uh, uh, assembly right here um, is going to work on almost all of the engines, the smaller engines, up to maybe a 200 horsepower. But you know, you can always check. And the only thing I'm going to need is a, a 10 millimeter uh, socket. That's common on Yamaha stuff. There's the part number again. There's the switch. And today I'm going to show you how to replace the trim tilt switch uh, assembly on the engine. The uh, cowling underneath the bottom of the cowling. Um, mine went out. The uh, top is not working to go up. It was going down. Um, so I ordered a new one, it was around 50 bucks, uh, picked it up, I'm going to show you how to replace it, it's really easy. And uh, the only thing you're going to need is a 10mm uh, socket and maybe some electrical grease uh, for when you put the new plug in. Uh, the switch will come, like I just showed you right here, and then it's going to just come with a little connector in that you're going to plug in to when we take this out here. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is you're going to undo these two 10 millimeter bolts and we're gonna get this switch out so let me do that real quick and we'll go from there okay so we've undone these two bolts right here uh, piece of cake that just came off um, just take note make sure when you do install the new switch this is the old switch that's got a little picture of an engine up down um, the other thing is before you start all this I meant to say turn off the power uh, either use your kill switch or something and then uh, before you start this uh, just for your safety and just to make sure you don't uh, burn anything out so then you're also going to come across these connectors right here and you're going to want to just kind of finagle these things undone so you can get those off to get to the wire you know and eventually you're just going to trace this wire right over to where it unplugs right here so I'm going to get in there and unplug that. i got to move the camera a little bit because I just can't quite get in there with the camera in the way. So I'll have to do this off camera. But just like I said, once it's undone, you're just going to trace this wire. Here's the new plug right here. You can see where it's plugged in right here. So I'm just going to unplug that. And then we're going to plug the new one back in. We're going to hook it back up. And it's a really simple fix. There's no reason to take this to a mechanic. You can save yourself 100 bucks in labor fees. So let me do this real quick here. All right, so I got the old one unplugged, and uh, here's the uh, the plug that I'm going to plug the new one into. Um, like I said, uh, if you need to, you can use a little bit of um, uh, electrical grease or something if yours is, looks corroded. Mine looks fine. So what I'm going to do before I strap it all back in, I'm just going to plug it back in, and I'm going to go over here and turn on my kill switch, my battery switch back on. And let's reach down here before we hook all this back up and just make sure the new one's working. So that should be up. There we go. The new switch is working. That should be down. Try one more time. Up. 
down and we're good to go there. So I'm going to go back over here and turn the uh, power back off. You know, that way when I'm working on it, I don't accidentally hit the up down, cause damage to the switch of the engine. So I'm going to unhook this, I'm going to run the wire back underneath here and then put those uh, straps back on, the little uh, tie down straps. And then we're going to put the, uh, the switch back in, taking note that it's in the right position up down and put everything back together and we'll test it one more time. So I got to move the camera one more time to do this and we're almost done. Now one more thing before I forget, um, you can, when you take off the old switch right here, there's going to be a little gasket that goes around it like that, that will go into the, uh, when the um, switch goes back into the hole right here. You can buy a new one if you need to order it. It's like five bucks. I'm just going to take this one off this old piece and then just I'm going to slide it back on the new one here like that. Just don't forget to do that because um, that'll keep that keeps water. It's just like a sealant gasket here. So, all right. So I'm going to run this wire back through there, underneath there. I'm going to hook it back up and then uh, we'll test it and see if it's done. All right. So I'm going to put the uh, I just ran the new wire over here, just plugged it in right here. I haven't put the uh, straps back on. Um, so this is going to go right onto there. We're going to make sure the holes line up there. It just basically just holds that switch right there into place. And then like I said, we're going to re-thread the two 10 millimeters back into there. <clears throat> Tighten them down. And go from there. Now, this is also a good time while uh, you got the engine cowling off and you're working on your engine to um, look around and just inspect the engine for any you know corrosion, leaks, whatever, and uh, you know check the oil. Just just take a good look at it. Just make sure everything looks all right. Uh, you can see from me being a professional fishing guide that my engine is fairly clean. Uh, you know, preventive maintenance goes a long, long way on an outboard. I mean a long, long way. Okay, so the only thing left to do is just strap these, put the straps back on. And, alright, so let me get in here and turn the power on the battery and we'll test this real quick. And we should be good to go. So, all right. That looks good and sounds good to me. So I don't think that's uh, I'm gonna have any more issues with that switch. Everything looks good. Uh, cleaned it up there, nice. So again, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charter, Mosquito Lagoon Sight Fishing Charters. I want to wish everybody a great day and have a great 2019. Thank you.